Ever found yourself glued to your phone at 2 a.m., aimlessly scrolling through social media, or watching just one more YouTube video? Or maybe you're doing that right now, but have you ever thought about what this screen time might be doing to your sleep? Ariana Huffington, co-founder of the Huffington Post, had a serious wake-up call, pun intended, when she famously collapsed from exhaustion due to lack of sleep. Her head hit the desk, breaking her cheekbone, and she woke up in a pool of blood. This led her to completely reevaluate her approach to sleep and technology, eventually writing a book about the importance of sleep and creating a company dedicated to health and wellness. So what do screens actually do to our brains, and how are they changing our sleep patterns? Well, that's what we're going to explore, and as we delve into this topic, we've got some special free gifts lined up for you that will help you reclaim your nights from the grips of the glowing screens. Plus, there's a rule we'll talk about later that could be the game changer you need. It's as simple as counting 20-20-20. Stay with us to find out more. Before we dive into the deep end, let's make sure we're all on the same page. When sleep eludes us, things can get messy real fast. Studies by the National Sleep Foundation reveal that chronic sleep deprivation can lead to a whole host of health problems, from mood swings and impaired memory, to serious conditions like diabetes and heart disease. Not exactly a pleasant bedtime story, is it? And this is where your friendly digital screens come into the picture. Our beloved devices, smartphones, laptops, tablets, TVs, they're all a part of our lives, but they're also major sleep thieves. The light emitted from these screens, particularly blue light, can mess with our body's natural sleep-wake cycle, also known as our circadian rhythm. Think about it, we live in a world where staying connected is the norm. From the moment we wake up, till we hit the bed, our lives revolve around screens. But what cost are we paying for this convenience and connection? According to research by the National Institute of Health, Individuals who used screens for more than two hours a day had a significantly higher risk of getting less than seven hours of sleep, which is the recommended minimum for adults. This isn't the only evidence. A study in the journal BMJ Open looked at teenagers who use electronic devices at night. They found that those teenagers have a significantly higher risk of being sleep deprived. Each hour of screen time was associated with 13 to 52 minutes shorter sleep duration. The more screen time, the less sleep time. It's a concerning trend, right? But we're not here to just dish out the doom and gloom. We're here to help you understand what's going on and find ways to reclaim your sleep from screens. But to do that, we need to get to the root of the issue. So let's explore the world of sleep science, where things are about to get a little blue. When we're talking about screens and sleep, we can't ignore one major culprit, blue light. You see, all screens emit a form of light known as blue light. And while it's not all bad news, blue light during the day can actually boost attention and reaction times. It's a whole different story when the sun goes down. So what's the deal with blue light and our sleep? The secret lies in a little hormone you might have heard about, melatonin. Dubbed the sleep hormone, melatonin is produced by our brains to regulate our sleep-wake cycle. When it's dark, your brain pumps out more melatonin, signaling to your body that it's time to wind down and get some rest. But here's the twist, blue light, the kind that's blasting from your screens, can trick your brain into thinking it's still daytime. This light can suppress melatonin production, making it harder for you to fall asleep and stay asleep. A 2014 study from Brigham and Women's Hospital compared people reading on light-emitting devices versus reading printed books. Those reading on devices took longer to drift off, had less REM sleep, that's the deep restorative stage, and felt groggier when they woke up. And the impact goes way beyond just our sleep. Remember we mentioned the circadian rhythm earlier? That's our body's internal 24-hour clock that regulates everything, from sleep to hunger and hormone production. When our exposure to blue light in the evening disrupts our sleep, it can throw this whole rhythm out of sync. And as you can guess, this can lead to a host of other problems. A study from the University of Colorado Boulder even linked delayed circadian rhythms to an increased risk of major health problems, including diabetes, heart disease, and mood disorders. But don't hit the panic button just yet. While this all sounds pretty alarming, 
knowledge is power, and armed with this understanding of the science behind screen time and sleep, we're now better equipped to tackle this issue head on. Let's first find out how screen time affects different age groups, and then explore some ways to reclaim our sleep from screens. So, are all of us equally at the mercy of our screens, or does screen time affect some of us more than others? The truth is, when it comes to screen time and sleep, age definitely plays a role. But before we get to that, did you know that not all screens are equal when it comes to their impact on our sleep? In a surprising study in the Journal of Sleep Research, it was found that small displays, like those on smartphones and tablets, are much more detrimental to our sleep than larger ones like televisions. The proximity of these smaller screens to our faces, combined with the posture we're in when using them, makes them more disruptive to our sleep. So the next time you're choosing between watching a late-night show on your TV or scrolling through your phone in bed, you might want to pick the former. Okay, so let's look at different age groups, starting with kids. We all know how quickly they've adapted to this digital age. Tablets for learning, phones for gaming, TV for entertainment, screen time is a big part of their lives. But here's the catch, a study by JAMA Pediatrics found that children who spend more than two hours a day on screens are more likely to have poorer sleep outcomes, including reduced sleep duration and delayed bedtimes. And it's not just about quantity, it's also about the quality of sleep. According to a study by the University of Colorado Boulder, the blue light from screens can significantly suppress the production of melatonin in children, more so than in adults, which in turn can affect their sleep quality and duration. What's worse is this lost sleep during their formative years can affect their growth, learning, and behavior. Moving on to adults, the story doesn't get any brighter. Work, stress, and digital entertainment means adults are also clocking in hefty screen hours. A study in the journal PLOS examined adults using screens for more than six hours a day and found that they're more likely to suffer from sleep disorders and symptoms of depression. Let's not forget, as we learned earlier, poor sleep and disrupted circadian rhythms can lead to a slew of health problems, from obesity to heart disease. And as we get older, the plot thickens. Research has shown that older adults are more sensitive to the effects of blue light, leading to increased difficulties in both getting to sleep and sleep duration. So it's clear, nobody's immune to the sleep-snatching power of screens, but don't worry, we're not here to tell you to ditch your devices entirely. After all, they're an integral part of our lives. The good news is there are effective strategies that can help you balance both sleep and screen time, no matter how old you are. But first, before we explore those strategies, we want to thank you for watching with some free gifts. Discover an entire world of sleep-boosting knowledge, tips, and tricks with The Sleep Hygiene Handbook The Sleep Health Guide 30 Days Free Access to the Brainwave Club Audio Sessions And The Snoring Gun in 3 Minutes Program Get each of these powerful gifts for free. Just click the link in the description below and start your journey towards better sleep. Okay, it's action time. It's clear we can't escape screens entirely, but we can certainly manage our screen time to safeguard our precious sleep. Here are some tried and tested strategies you can start implementing right away. First, we have the 2020 rule, a simple yet effective tool for your screen time toolkit. Here's how you do it. Every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break and look at something 20 feet away. This helps reduce digital eye strain, which in turn, can help improve sleep. Not to mention, it's a great way to keep your eyes healthy too. Next up, try to establish a screen-free bedtime routine. Your body loves routines, they help it know what's coming next. So, when you consistently unwind before bed without screens, you're signaling to your body that it's time to sleep. This could involve reading a book, meditating, or listening to calming music. No blue light, just you and your peaceful nighttime routine. But if you're thinking, I can't possibly put away my devices before bed, don't worry. Most devices now have a night mode that alters the color temperature of your screen to emit less blue light in the evening. In fact, Apple introduced the night shift mode in response to studies about the effects of screen time on sleep. So make use of this feature. 
It might not eliminate the problem, but it will definitely reduce the impact of blue light on your sleep. And finally, consider investing in blue light blocking glasses. These are specially designed glasses that filter out blue light. A study from the University of Houston looked at participants wearing blue light blocking glasses and found they had about a 58% increase in their nighttime melatonin levels. Remember, that's our sleep hormone. Implementing these strategies can significantly improve your relationship with screens and consequently, your sleep. But remember, every individual is unique, so you might need to experiment a bit to find what works best for you. And there we have it. We've navigated through the intricate landscape of screen time and sleep together, uncovering some fascinating, and somewhat alarming, truths along the way, from Ariana Huffington's personal wake-up call, to the way screen time is affecting different age groups, to that unexpected twist about small screens, we've covered a lot of ground. But knowledge alone won't improve your sleep, it's what you do with it that counts, whether it's following the 20-20-20 rule, establishing a screen-free bedtime routine, using night mode on your devices, or investing in blue light blocking glasses, take a step, take action. Our sleep is too precious, and the consequences of ignoring it too serious, to let screens steal it away from us. And speaking of steps, why not take a giant leap towards better sleep right now? Remember those free gifts I mentioned earlier? They're waiting for you, packed with practical tools to help you improve your sleep. Just click the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this video, and remember, in the world of screens and sleep, balance is key. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and share this video with anyone you think could benefit from a better night's sleep. Here's to better and healthier sleep habits for us all. Good night and sweet dreams.